Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome. You know what today is? Today is a toss and go Thursday, but you know what's even better? It's a toss and go Thursday with Power Excel. And this week I'm using my favorite Power Excel, which is the Power Excel Combo. The combo is amazing because what it can do is it can air fry, it can slow cook, it can grill, and it can do about 11 other things that are all for another show. But today, we're gonna make key lime cups. Now, nothing says summer to me more like key lime. I love key lime pie, and when I say the word key lime, I think of the Florida Keys. And I think of the sand and the beach. And you guys know I love the weather, I love it when it's hot. And the thought of key limes and key lime pie make me very happy. And it's gonna make you happy too, you wanna know why? because it's a toss and go, which is out of my new cookbook, which is available on Amazon. It's available all over the place, Barnes and Noble, uh, all the places you will find books, books a million. Toss and go is a way to cook that is very easy. So when you combine toss and go recipes with Power Excel, they make your life easy, you're gonna have a happy life. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, right. But you know what? A happy wife, happy wife happy life. Means, yeah. means desserts. Ooh. Happy wife means dessert. Yeah. That's what it means to me. When I make dessert, Jesse's happy. My life is good. <laughs> <laughs> Key limes are so cute, you guys, but they are so delicious. They're actually a little more powerful, in my opinion, than a regular lime. They're, they're smaller and cuter, and they're used for a whole bunch of different things all over the world. But for me, they are the Florida Keys. It's a Florida thing, it's a Southern thing, and key lime pie is no different. So let me show you how easy this toss and go recipe is. Because if you're someone who likes to bake, or you don't like to bake, you'll like to make this. And just a couple of things that you may have in your cabinet already, and if you don't, it's easy, you might have to buy one thing, you will make it in a, in a flash. So let me get right into it. The first ingredient is going to be eggs because it's a bit of a custard. So all we're doing is we're putting in two eggs. Now I'm going to do this in the blender. You can use a whisk. You can also use a, you know, a hand mixer, no problem. Whatever is easier for you. I found out that using the blender is the easiest thing to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use two teaspoons of sugar. Uh, and then we're going to cream sort of the sugar and the eggs together. So just two teaspoons, that's all you need. Because we're going to use condensed milk too. And condensed, condensed milk is also very sugary. So let me just put this on. Oh, where's my lid, Jesse? What lid? My lid. Oh, your lid. No, well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, you're all right. a brave man. I'm super brave. Don't try that at home. <laughs> <laughs> You'll ruin your whole kitchen. All right, so we're just going to do this for a little bit of time. We just want to get the butter and the eggs incorporated. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add in the condensed milk. Now I have this on the lowest setting, hopefully. You don't have to do it that long. Again, we're just incorporating everything into the batter. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a third of a cup of key lime juice. Now, where is the key lime juice? Believe it or not, it is in the cocktail section of your supermarket. If you can't find key lime juice, you can just squeeze some key limes. Now, key limes are in season right now here on the East Coast. I was able to get them at my supermarket. Or you can just get this stuff, which makes your life a whole lot easier. All right. No, I have to. I, I have to do this, Jesse. All right. All right. We're almost done. Now, I know. And then we're just going to put in a little bit of vanilla. That's it. That's the entire recipe. And when you see how easy it is to cook them, and even easier to eat them, you're going to make these at home. Now, how do you cook them? Okay. First of all, we're going to slow cook them. Now, the PowerXL combo unit can be a slow cooker. It's an amazing slow cooker. All you need to do is take off the air fry lid. Then you pop on 
the regular glass lid. Turn it to, all you have to do is turn it to slow cooker. And once you turn it to slow cooker, you want to set it for two hours. Okay, yeah, that's okay. It needed to be reset. All right. Two hours in a slow cook. So you, you want to turn that on, get it hot, and then we're going to come over here. And I already buttered my ramekins. Now, these are just your standard creme brulee ramekins. Now, I'm going to give you some other tips. If you don't have creme brulee ramekins... Eric always has alternatives. Well, you know what? We all don't always have the, the equipment that we need. Look what I found at the supermarket. These Those are, are so cute, first of all. Aren't these adorable? Look at this. This is oh graham gosh. cracker crust, little tiny pie crusts. Oh. They come, look at this. You can get them. They're, this is a popular brand. What is this, Keebler? These are the Keebler elves. Remember the Keebler elves? <laughs> yeah. They were little and they lived in a tree and they always had cookies. If, you, if you're living in a tree and you have cookies, I want to be with you. But anyway, they also make these cute little pie dishes. So you can make them with these as well. And this makes your life easier too. So they call it now, it's very popular to call it a supermarket shortcut. So here is my batter. You saw I just did it in the blender. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour it about three quarters of the way up. That's all you wanna do. Now if you notice, I'm not even using a crust on here. I'm literally putting it in a blank ramekin, pouring it about three quarters of the way up, because you know what I'm gonna do? We call this a reverse pie. Mm. I'm actually gonna put the graham cracker crumbs and the macadamia nuts on the top. Because what we wanted to do with toss and go recipes is we wanted to make sure it was easy. So you know what? Maybe you don't have time to make a crust. Maybe you don't have time to jam the graham crackers in the crust. Maybe you don't have these. Maybe you just wanted to do it at home really quickly. So that's what toss and go recipes are all about. And when you do it in the PowerXL, of course, every function is at your fingertips with the PowerXL combo unit. All right, I'm just going to move this. What we would do now is we would wrap these in tin foil. We would put water in the slow cooker function, like I have right now, about half of the way up. A water bath. It's a water bath, yeah. So if you've ever made a creme brulee or a cheesecake, it's the exact same thing. We just want to cook it in water. We want to cover them so they don't, um, you don't, you don't want to bake them from the top. You want to kind of boil them in a weird way. So that makes the custard come out deliciously. So we would put the lid on. We cook those for about two hours. That's slow cooked for two hours. If you pressure cook them, it's only 10 minutes. What? Say that yeah. again. If you pressure cook, 10 minutes. If you <laughs> slow cook in the PowerXL, Combo unit, that is two hours. But still, that's nothing. Because you drop them in, you set the time, and then you go about your day. When they're done, you just take them out of the water, you put them in the refrigerator, and cool them down. I like to cool them down for about three hours. Uh, but, you know, you could actually, if you couldn't wait, Jesse, if you can't wait for those key lime pies, you can do it even quicker. You know I can't wait. So let me show you guys what happens when you take them out. Ooh, the finished product. Yes. All right. So let's look at these two. So here's my little Keebler cup that I did. Aww. Isn't that adorable? Yep. And then here's my little creme brulee cup. And you can see because I buttered the outside, it actually pulls away from, from the ramekin and In it makes... stick fashion. That's right. That's right, Jessica. Yes. All right. Now show us the pretty ones. So here's the pretty ones. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to decorate them. I'll give you some serving, some serving tips. Okay. Now... This little guy already has the crust on it because I bought it that Hold way, on. right? Your bug, this is bugging me. They're it's bugging you? <laughs> okay. All right, now they match. All right. Same. Look at that. All right. That's, All right. Why, that's why I need Jesse. That's right. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to just put a little dollop of whipped cream right in the middle because I want to see that little key lime on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the graham cracker and put it right over the top. Remember I said this is a inside out, upside down, backwards crust, <laughs> right? And then I like macadamia nuts over the top. But then because this is key lime, what I like to do is I like to take the rind of the key lime and then I like to just sprinkle it over the top. Now, 
This is a powerful rind. It has an amazing bright and sunny flavor and it's going to remind you of the summer and the sun and the sand and the beach. All right, so that's the little guy. Pretty. Now the bigger guy, what, what you could do is just kind of go around the outside just like this. Just super simple, guys. You don't have to get crazy. Like that. And then again, we're going to drop the graham crackers over the top. We're going to put some macadamia nuts. I like a lot of macadamia nuts with this. But we're going to take it just one step further, and I'm going to use a little dark chocolate. And I'm just going to put that dark chocolate all the way over the top. Now, when you have dark chocolate with the lime, remember that there was a, who put the lime in the coconut? Who put the dark chocolate in the lime? When you have dark chocolate and lime, I just did it. You pound it with flavor. And I know, I wanted to, I had to say it. So, um, guys, this is a super simple dessert. Key limes, this is the time. You can get these. They're so cute. And you know what? You'll, you'll buy a big bag of them, and you know what they're great for? They're fantastic for cocktails. Mm. Now, in, in Asia, they actually pickle them, which is so cool. Pickled citrus fruit sounds delicious to me. You know, maybe that's not what you're into. But right now, I think in the next couple of weeks in, in uh, key, the Keys in Florida, they have a big festival. July 4th, where what they do is they take key limes and then they do tequila shots with them. So there's so many things to talk about with key limes. So not only are they adorable, but they make delicious desserts, whether it's a little bit of chocolate, whether it's a little bit of macadamia, there's always graham crackers and there's always whipped cream. So remember, if you're using a toss and go recipe, and you add that to the Power Excel, like the combo unit, your life is going to be so easy. Simple recipes, products that are easy to use, and I'm telling you, you're going to love this dessert. And if you saw how fast that was, guys, I made that live time. It's just a question of cooking it and cooling it. That's it. There's like five ingredients, and you're ready to go. Jesse has people. We have a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, just putting that right in the pot or she missed the part about the water bath oh yeah okay so truth be told I used my last aluminum foil but you would cover this with aluminum foil tight and then you can see I have water in here I don't know if you guys can see yeah, that I'll, I'll make it move good, yeah. so you just want to put the water halfway up this would be covered up the that's right the and then what, what you do is you put the lid on the power excel right here and then you cook it, slow cook it for two hours. You can slow cook it in, in your slow cooker if you have a slow cooker at, at home. You can slow cook it in the oven at 200 degrees as well for two hours. If you have a pressure cooker, it only takes 10 minutes. You do it the same way. You put the water bath in, just halfway up the ramekin, and then you cover them tight, put the lid on, and do it whether you pressure cook or slow cook. Uh, can we make these in uh, full size, like a ready-made pie crust? Absolutely, yes. Yes, okay. you can. So what you would do is you would use a ready-made pie crust. Let me, let me give credit where credit is due. Let's, Lee Taylor asked that question. Oh, Lee Taylor. That's a great question. Yeah. And you know what? I wanted to make a big one, too. Um, so what you, what you would do is you would take the pie, actually the pie plate. You would bring the water up the pie plate about halfway, just like I did with the ramekin. You would cover it with aluminum foil nice and tight. And then you would either slow cook it for two hours or you would pressure cook it for 10 minutes and and that's how you make those and you just want to get that custard to set up really nice and when you get the custard to set up really nice then um, it's just a fun and and delicious dessert so I'm gonna try this for who was that Leah yeah Lee Lee look at that oh, so the wow. custard is beautifully set up I have some dark chocolate some macadamia nuts I have some whipped cream how can it be bad Victoria mm, McElwain said mm -hmm. gorgeous. Kristen Taylor said it's one of her absolute favorite pies. Mm, Christy that's Hissark good. is here. She said fun, fun. Fun, fun. And someone said yum, yum. Who was that? <laughs> Cheryl Buell said yum, yum. Wait, is it fun, fun, yum, yum? Yes, fun, fun, yum, yum. Uh, that, should be, that should be like a kid's book. That's actually super cute. Fun, fun, yum, yum. That's a kid's recipe. Uh, the toss and go way. <laughs> yeah, toss and go for kids. 
<laughs> fun, fun, yum, yum. Okay. Well, <laughs> Oh, thanks, Sandy. That's what she said. <laughs> Nancy Baker's from o Mobile, Alabama, says hello. Oh, Alabama. Uh, I Terry, could live in Alabama. I know. Terry Provovich says she's cooking in her combo as we speak. Oh, what are you cooking, Terry? Yeah, she should tell us. Let's yeah, she does. try to get back on and let us know. Um, Katie B is always here. She's our, our most loyal fan. And Paul Guccia in Pennsylvania. And we have, oh, Tim Abu. Adubato says he loves Key West and he loves Key uh, West. So this was a perfect I mean, recipe for him. The, the, these just make you smile. I mean, whether you live in Key West or, or anywhere, you can get a Key Lime. These make you smile. And man, oh man, they just make a, they just have a little bit more power in, in the lime flavor. Uh, one more question. Lou McGowan said, Eric, can this be made in a regular, oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, Allison Jacobs said, would the time be the same for the small Temptations pie plates? The small temptations pie plates, yeah. If you're slow cooking them, they're gonna t two hours is is fine. And if you're pressure cooking them, the same thing, ten minutes. So you don't really have to worry about uh, about that at all. So that's what's nice about slow cooking and pressure cooking. They're very lenient. All right, you guys. So that's it for me. I had a really fantastic time. I love key lime. I love making simple, easy desserts that everybody wants to make. So. If you like this, I would love for you to share this live on your feed because then you get to refer back to it, your friends get to see it, and I really appreciate it. So I hope that you will share it. I hope you'll join us on YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, everything. We're going to be on TikTok soon. <laughs> I can't wait to get on TikTok, actually. It's kind of fun. So I hope you will join us next Thursday. We're going to do another live. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. You'll have to wait for the clue during the week. And, uh, you know, thanks for joining me with the key lime pie. For those of you who got the clue this week, thank you very much. See you next Thursday at 4. Bye, everybody. Bye.